Four years ago, Bishop Winsky invited our diocese to examine itself, to dream about our future, and to lay a roadmap for the years ahead. This historic project brought together over 1,000 Catholics to serve on 20 planning commissions in the first General Synod of our diocese. The Alive in Christ campaign presents a very special next step for Blessed Trinity. The campaign is designed to fund the roadmap established by our Synod. We have a great opportunity to grow in our personal living relationship with Christ, to lead our brothers and sisters to holiness, and to share God's love for all people. We have very much to celebrate already. We have a diverse and growing parish with nearly 3,500 registered families and more families joining us regularly. We serve God's people with genuine compassion as we live the corporal works of mercy and we are blessed to be a total stewardship community. Recognizing that all things have their origin in God, we share with each other the gifts that He has first shared with us. As we reflect on our many blessings, we know that challenges still remain and opportunities abound to continue Christ's saving work in the world. Through Alive in Christ, we have a unique opportunity to answer our baptismal call to grow, lead, and share our living faith by addressing our most critical parish needs. Our greatest priorities for life in Christ are to expand the Guadalupana mission, to purchase land for a new elementary school, and to reduce the existing debt at Trinity Catholic High School. We will grow in our living and loving relationship with Christ as we continue to build His Church through the Guadalupana Mission. The mission currently sits on three acres of land and a multi-purpose building houses worship space and the parish hall. Our expansion plans will add five more acres to the existing property and provide much needed space for parking. We will also double the size of the multi-purpose building to provide additional meeting space, restroom facilities, and classrooms. Through Catholic education, we form our young people as faithful disciples and prepare them to lead others to a new life in Christ. Ocala continues to grow rapidly. There is a long waiting list for most grades at our parish school. To ensure that all families have access to a Catholic education, we will acquire property for the future site of a new interparochial elementary school. As we share God's blessings, we will help Trinity Catholic High School to reduce existing debt from the original capital campaign and later expansion projects. Alive in Christ offers Blessed Trinity the opportunity to begin addressing the urgent needs of our parish while also supporting the very important capital needs of our larger diocesan family. Through the Alive in Christ campaign, we will join together with every parish in the diocese to help fund the key priorities that emerge from our diocesan synod. We set a goal of just over $2.3 million for our parish. If we are blessed to raise this amount, the proceeds will be used to fund the expansion of Guadalupana Mission reduction of Trinity Catholic High School debt, and the acquisition of property on State Road 27. In addition, a portion of funds raised through the Alive in Christ will provide support for the many bold and exciting new projects taking place throughout the nine counties of our diocese. Our goal may seem daunting in our present economic climate, yet it is in these dark times that we need to invest in the values of the gospel, trusting God to lead us into the light. For over a century, the families of Blessed Trinity have given joyfully to create the parish we have today. With humble gratitude, let us follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before us, keeping in our hearts the knowledge that God is never outdone in generosity. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce Bishop Winsky as he explains his vision for the Live in Christ campaign. To come alive in Christ is to allow His grace to permeate our lives so that we try to, to think as He would think and to act as He would act. We are standing on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. 
We are blessed with people of faith and vision, people who embrace and celebrate their Catholic faith, transform communities, and make known the love of Christ throughout Central Florida. In Central Florida, our church is alive in Christ. In the next decade, the population here in the nine counties of our diocese could grow from the present four million to about seven million people. Parishes are the heart of the Catholic community and the primary instrument of the church to reveal God's presence in our world. The expansion of Catholic schools responds to our area's explosive population growth and families express desire for Catholic education. Educating our youth is a fundamental mission of the church in Central Florida. Through permanent endowments, Catholic education will be accessible to all families. As an outreach, the new Campus Ministry Center will help students understand the richness of their faith, enhance their relationship with God, and expose them to the best of Catholic spirituality and tradition. My biggest hope for the Diocese of Orlando is an increase of vocations to the priesthood so that we will be able to meet the needs of our people for sacramental ministries in future years. Throughout our nine counties, Catholic Charities is redefining its role as the major provider of services to meet the needs of our poor, hungry, and homeless. Our glorious God has blessed the Diocese of Orlando with a successful launch of the Alive in Christ campaign. It is with great conviction and confidence in God's grace that we begin this bold effort. Our goal is to raise $150 million. Strong parishes equal a strong diocese. And so the first 90 million will strengthen the mission and ministry at the parish level. And 60 million will support our larger church priorities as identified through our synod. Our church is about families, your own family, your parish family, in our growing Catholic family in the Diocese of Orlando. Please join me to ensure the success of the Alive in Christ campaign. Prayerfully consider your own sacrificial gift to Alive in Christ, as your pastor and I have personally done, to meet the needs of your parish and our diocese. Joining together, our church is truly Alive in Christ.